gonna make some beans today and we're gonna add a lot of good things to them and here is a uh, pork hock it is a smoked pork hock and I'm gonna add some water to my very old pot here I'll put a little more water in there I'm gonna turn the heat on and I want to cook this hock and get a lot of flavor out of it boil it for a while this pork hock has been boiling for an hour and has released its flavors I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put the pinto beans in I soaked the pinto beans for I don't know six hours while I was at work and now we're going to cook these up the beans have cooked for a couple hours and now they're all done and nice and soft I'm going to set them aside and get my skillet out. I think my skillet's warmed up. I'm going to put in some chorizo. This is Mexican style chorizo. We'll just cook this up till it's done. This is cooked for about eight minutes and I'm going to add it to my pot. It's right here, you can't see it. My pot of beans. Going in with the beans. And get just a little bit of good oil in here, a little bit of olive oil. And I'll add the onions. This is one large onion chopped. At least a cup and a half of onions. And three cloves of garlic, not a lot, just a little. I just want to soften this up, cook it slow. The onions are getting soft, and I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of ground up cumin in here and stir that around. And then here's the pot of beans again. I'm going to add all the onions to that. Pot of beans. My new pot's heated up. I have some manteca, or in English, it's lard. I'll add uh, about a half of a cup. Let that melt. A fourth of a cup might be enough. Let that melt up some, and then I'm going to add the beans. And I'm going to add cilantro, about a half a cup, chopped. And I'm going to go in and start mashing up these beans some. Here they are, just bubbling away very slowly that's what you want to do you want to stir these around with your potato masher and just gently cook these for 15 minutes like I said before and just do them gently otherwise you could get some burnt bits on the bottom and after 15 minutes they're done a different way I like to serve my beans is to put some warm beans on some bread that I just put under the broiler. And I'm trying to rush here. And take some melting cheese and put it on top. Put this back underneath the broiler. Have one, one of them here. It only takes like a few seconds actually. You can serve with some salsa or just eat it like it is. Thanks so much for watching.